Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be trying out the Milk of Magnesia. I don't know if this is a trend, um, but Milk of Magnesia is having a hot moment right now because this was referenced in an episode of Bachelor in Paradise, my girl Kelsey. She was out there and she was like, I have Milk of Magnesia on my face, so I am not afraid to sweat on this desert. And I was like, yes girl because i have heard of this trick and i have just never tried it this is an old school makeup trick of putting milk of magnesia on your face before applying your makeup to prevent you from overly sweaty or getting too oily so milk of magnesia if you don't know this is something that you would drink to help your bowel movements get under control it's the opposite of the laxative it's the thing that if you had the opposite of constipation would help you. This is created to basically like tighten up your butt and instead it's gonna tighten up your face and your pores and stop you from sweating and getting overly oily. The makeup artist that I actually learned about this from, her name is Harush, you probably heard of her, celebrity makeup artist. Um, and she has a YouTube channel where she uses this and explains it and I think she got the tip from Scott Barnes Who is another icon and it's something that's been on my list that I've wanted to try and I just haven't tried it yet and before I ever try anything on my clients I want to try it on myself first I am a human guinea pig and that's what I'm doing today so I have under all this makeup um, milk of magnesia on my face I'll show you how I apply it. I followed a lot of the tips I got from Harusha's video. Um, I'll link that down below if you want to see how she does it as well. And yeah, let's get into it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Okay, so here we go. We have the Philips Milk of Magnesia. I'm going to shake it up. Pour a little bit in this cup okay and then take a damp um, beauty sponge this is a technique I'm following from Harouche and then just start applying it to all the oily areas now I'm going to let this dry. So I definitely think I might have put way too much. Um, I don't know if all this is necessary, but what I am going to do regardless is dust off the excess. So this white cast shouldn't be like so prominent. Basically what you want is for it to like go into your pores and tighten them up using a puff pad to dust off the excess and it does I definitely feel like that tightness in my pores like it feels like it would it would work and again this is not for everyday use this is for Maybe a performance, maybe when you know you're going to sweat. It's for oily skin. Like, my skin's... My skin can get oily. Um, It's not super dry right now, so I figured I was safe to test it out. But if you have super dry skin, like, don't even try this. So... I feel like it's pretty much, I mean, you could tell it's definitely mattified my skin um, and my skin feels tight. So now that I have that locked and loaded into my pores, I'm going to go in with a moisturizer. I'm using the Embryo Lease um, Light Cream Concentrate. Never know if I'm saying that right. And I'm just going to warm this up in my hands and put this on top. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, that it kind of the milk of magnesia kind of has like a cooling, tightening, not itchy, but like not necessarily comfortable feeling. And this feels really good, a nice warm, creamy moisturizer. 
and we're just betting on the milk of magnesia already doing its thing being locked inside my pores just out from the sweat Sure, I don't have any white crusties. First, I'm gonna go in with my Hollywood Flawless Filter. This came highly requested by so many makeup artists that I just had to try it out. I don't know why it took me so long. And this goes under your makeup on like the high points of your face. And it just has a nice luminosity to it. It actually is really pretty. And for foundation, I'm going to go in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. And I'm going to kind of build some dimension into my face by using multiple shades. So, um, and my skin is just all over the place. I've been like tanning, but then I think my tan is gone. So I'm kind of not exactly sure what shade I am right now. So it's going to take some mixing and matching. Right now I'm taking a pump of number nine and a pump of 7.5 and a pump of 5.25. Is there probably a shade that is just one shade that matches my skin a little better than mixing these three? Probably. Once I've laid down the foundation, I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Stick Foundation in the shade Almond. I'm putting this on the back of my hand and I'm going to use this to contour. So I have a deviated septum. So I do try and correct my nose contour or connect, correct my nose shape with contour. which can be very tricky. I've also found that, so when I contour the sides of my nose, if I were to just do that, it makes my nose look longer. So I always contour the tip of my nose to kind of shorten it. But I've also found that adding this little guy right here also helps create more of like a cute button shape. that I've been really into. I'm just gonna let that kind of vibe out and then contour the rest of my face. I'm just gonna take this on kind of like a foundation brush. And just start packing that in. For concealer, I'm going to go in with the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. This is in the shade SX05. So I'm going to take this on the back of my hand. Next, I'm going in with the Revlon Matte Velvet Powder, tapping stuff off into my hand and using this to set my under eyes. This straight out of Harush's video. I'm not sure if this is the right color, but this is the color I have. So we are working with it. I don't even know what color this is because I depotted these. But this is just the lightest one I have. And then I'm going to go in with like kind of the next shade. Go in with a Givenchy um, Prism Libre. This to sort of bake. And then I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. This is really sad. This was something I loved having in my kit, but 
it did break um yeah so now it's just part of my personal kit which is fine but if anyone else has that problem let me know this is the packaging and I don't know I think the closer thing you just didn't close all the way something I'm gonna dust off this excess powder another new thing I'm going to try is mixing my um, P Louise rumor 2 with eyeshadow I don't know if this is a thing but I saw her rouge do this with the urban decay um, eyeshadow primer so I was like I want to try that with the eyeshadow primer that I have so let's see I'm going into my naughty palette naughty I'm just gonna dip into the shade hypnotic and mix it and I think this is giving what it's supposed to give Oh yeah, that's cute. That is cute. So yeah, I guess by mixing like an eyeshadow primer with an eyeshadow, you're kind of just creating like a cream shadow. I wasn't planning on taking this all the way to my eyebrow, but it just felt right. So here we are. really feels like it like smoothed out my eyeshadow I mean my eyelids love that for me so now I'm gonna dip into the shade arouse just give a little action in the crease I always forget how pigmented the Huda Beauty palettes are and I'll dip in thinking I'm just like slowly working my way up and then I have to slowly work my way back but I kind of want just like a cute round eye shape today I've, I'm not going like super cat eye like I am focusing the majority of the product on the outer corner but I'm not doing like the whole swoop -de, swoop de swoop into the temples I just kind of want like the focus To be like a little you know just in the eyes I'm just gonna take the excess and put it underneath I think I'm gonna go in with the shade provocative and just sort of dust that on the lid oh again you're forgetting how pigmented she really is Next, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And I'm going in with my Billion Dollar Beauty Mascara. And I have to say, this is a game changer. I've been really loving this. After my last video, my mom bought this mascara and she's been really loving this. She said that my dad asked her if she got lash extensions when it was just the mascara. So if that doesn't tell you something. And I'm not a mascara girl. Like I'm like very much, I'm gonna put on a lash anyway, so who cares? But you gotta appreciate a good mascara when you find one. Give credit where credit is due. Cause I mean, look at that. The difference is astronomical. Hello. Next thing I'm going to try out for you is these My Lash But Better Lashes from KISS and they have this clear lash glue that's new and it's like a liner that's supposed to be invisible and I have to say KISS sent me this stuff for frizzy and I'm just so excited that I wound up on a PR list. I'm not on like a ton of PR lists for brands that I'm like, you know, just regularly use. So that was an exciting, exciting moment for me. 
So I'm going in with this lash glue liner and let's see what happens. Maybe wait till the mascara is dry because uh, I got a bunch of mascara on here. And then I'm going to try out these lashes. Cute. So final review, I love these lashes and I love this lash glue liner. Like it went on so easily and it's like undetectable and I'm here for it. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is just tight line my upper um, lid with some black pencil. I like to do this just to kind of connect, see the difference right here? See how I just connected that so that this lash feels a little bit more cohesive. I always like trim my lashes pretty short this way just because not because I don't like the lash to go in the inner corner, but because I just feel like you're setting yourself up for failure. There's your tear ducts form more there and that's where it likes to live. So I like my eyelashes to sit right here. But with this style of lash, they're not super, super tapered on the inside. So I definitely don't want to skip this step because we want to make sure we don't have that giant gap. And this pencil is just the Wet n Wild Coal Eyeliner. Okay, so I just filled my brows in with a little pencil. And then I'm going in um, with the Patrick Star One Size Beauty to kind of fill them a little bit. For lips, I'm going in with Morphe in the shade Sweet Tea. using this NARS lipstick thing in Laguna. This was actually my free um, birthday gift from Sephora. You know, you love, we love a mini, but I actually really love this. And I love taking this out with me because it's like kind of like sheer and it's super hydrating, but it does have a little bit of color. So it's perfect for touching up throughout the day. It's not like fully reapplying lipstick. It's just like giving you life. Like I would actually recommend this for brides on your wedding day. If you want something to touch up with throughout, this is going to keep your lips looking like juicy, but give them back like a little bit of color and a little bit of life if your lipstick wears off. <laughs> 